Well, howdy, everybody. So I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge very quickly. Uh, a mail merge, just in case you're wondering what it is, mail merge is where you can create a list of recipients or a list of uh, information and have that automatically populate into multiple letters or mailing, en uh, mailing envelopes, uh, address labels. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. So I'm just going to dig right in there. I'm going to go from the beginning, uh, with the exception of typing out the letter. I just have a really basic letter here. But I'm going to go from the beginning of creating the recipients, looking at the putting in some merge fields, and then completing the merge. So the first thing we do is you obviously create a letter. For me, I find it easiest to just type out the entire letter, and then I fill it back in with the merge fields. So I just have a real basic one here. And you're going to come up here to the top where it says mailings. And we want to start a mail merge. And this one happens to be a letter. So we're going to say we're going to start a letter. And then I want to go to select recipients. And I want to type a new list. This is going to be the list of the recipients or the information that you're going to pull from. So I'm going to type this new list. And you can see that it already comes up with some fields for me to uh, put information into. And I can put in, I can customize the columns. So if I know I don't want title, I really don't care about title. Uh, I'm not going to do company name, and I don't need their country, and I'm not going to deal with any of these right now, so I'm just going to get rid of them real quick. Oops. I accidentally deleted too many. But anyways, that just goes to show if you're going too quick, you may have some issues. All right, so I'm just going to delete these. Hopefully, it won't take me very long. It makes it easier to input the information if you have a smaller list. Okay, so now I have the first name. I'm just going to do Bill Smith. I'm going to capitalize this. On First Street. Uh, Angeles. VA. I don't know if that's correct, but... Julie, enter. Don't know if that's real either, so. All right, so I got a couple records in there. I'm going to click OK. This is good for me to just test with. It's going to ask me, hey, what do you want to uh, save this list as? It's going to save it as a Microsoft uh, database. So it's an MDB. It's an access database. I'm just going to put a file list. I'm going to say test list two. All right. So now I'm back to my letter. I've created some recipients. Now I want to put fields in. These fields are where the information is going to be automatically coming into the document. So I want to insert a merge field, and I want first name right after dear. And I'm going to put a comma. And then I want their address. A couple ways of doing this. You can either put in the individual fields. So I can say address line one, and then I can say city, comma, state, and then zip. Or, to make it simple, I can say I just want the address block. Give me the whole address block. And it gives me some options to, to format the address block. I'm going to say, yep, give me the address block. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to say I want no space style here. So I have control over the spacing here a little bit. All right, so now you notice I have dear, first name, dear, and then address block. If I go back to mailings and I click on preview results, magically that information is brought in. Dear Bill, and there's Bill's name. And if I click on this next arrow, the arrow to the right, it shows me the next one, Julie Winter. So I have two. That's all I have in there. There's nothing for three. So now I'm let's say I'm all done. I have the merge fields that I want, and I'm ready to create the mail merge, and print out a whole bunch of documents. So you, what you want to do is go to Finish and Merge. And for this particular case, I know with a lot of school uh, assignments, they just want you to, to print it basically to another Word document. Not necessarily print it, but just save it as a new Word document. So this is what you would do. Edit individual documents when merged into a new document, or you can print them, or you can email it. So I'm going to edit individual document, and I want to merge all records. And when it does that, it's going to give me one blank, and that's okay. I'm going to get rid of that one. And you notice I have two 
pages now. And it has the first one and the second one, and that's the completed merge. And I can save this file now as something that I want to save it as. And I would save this file, and then I have the other file that's still intact, and I can save this one. So then I have this one as a template, and I have this one as the completed merge. All right, so that's mail merge in just over five minutes. So have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon.